This is unconditional. 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 So I'm outside my hotel right now, right up on the beach, man, Panama City Beach. I went to fly my drone. They need an update. So I'm updating my drone. I'm chilling, waiting to fly out, get some shots in the ocean. Last night we went on the helicopter, had a sunset ride on the helicopter. I know y'all saw that. And we also went out and had dinner at a super fire spot called Firefly. Got some creme brulee, it was awesome. Other than that, man, we're just chilling, man. I'm just chilling out here. It is pretty whack when you're when you want to go fly your drone and the app needs to be updated. That's pretty whack. Follow me into my crib. <laughs> So when I come to PCB, it's a must to um, go to the local steamer. They got this amazing plate right here. Sausage, the shrimp, the red potatoes, the corn. They put the limes in there, they season it crazy. They got the crab legs right there. This is the best food in PCB. So we're just eating some crab legs and you know, some good food, relaxing in the hotel. So we had to get ready to get out of the hotel. We were late, we woke up late, had to take showers, get ready. Now we came out, we're at Broken Egg Cafe, another Broken Egg Cafe. We're about to try this, new breakfast spot. We had some good seafood last night. We actually got two plates, so we got some left over. But overall, everything's been cool, fun, man. The weather's been perfect. But make sure that when you go different places and travel different places, you go try new restaurants because you have to. We got this bomb lobster omelet with uh, potatoes and a chocolate chip pancake. It's about to smash, I know it. Thanks. Yeah, whatever. We're on the side of the road. I'm gonna give you some of this. Got this leftover crab legs and shrimp and sausage and corn. Ooh! 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 Hey! Come back here! Party hard! Ah! 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 <laughs> I don't know where this country ass town is that I'm at, but I feel like I'm in the, like, the movie, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look at this little town. I'm gonna walk over there after I finish eating. Sometimes you just gotta explore. You gotta just pull over on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere and be like, we're good. Don't be scared, man. Just be, be wide open. Have fun with it. There's swampland back here. I don't know where I'm at. And then there's some like driveway back there with cars. Look, the road ends right here. I just pulled in right here. And then the road ends right here. And I just parked right here. I don't know anything about where I'm at. I'm just walking. <laughs> Look at these cool little buildings right here. They're like abandoned. Then you got these buildings right here, this red one. Then you got this. Woo! That's fire for a shoot. You just gotta explore places. You gotta go around and explore a cool spot. So you can shoot a video in here, it'll be so fire. Then you got like you do an upward angle because the roof's like knocked out. It'll be really tight. So it's another cool spot right here, right in between these cracks behind these doors. Let me show it to you real quick. But that spot in there is pretty dope. So we ended up just coming and getting back in the car. We're out of here. So here we go. We got four freaking aperture boxes right here. I don't even know what the homies sent me, man, for real. They just told me to enjoy the packages that they sent. They sent me a bunch of goodies and to try out and play with them. Whatever. I don't know, man. So we're going to get into these boxes right now. Sorry, Aperture. I like to throw my boxes around. I'm pretty sure you got it packed up good, though. I can't believe all the stuff these guys are saying. These things are awesome, man. This is so crazy, like I am so genuinely freaking st stoked, excited. 
mind blown, mind boggled. I don't, I didn't even understand. I didn't even know that they were gonna be sending me all this stuff. Yo, Aperture is the best company in the freaking world, man. They sent me a 120D one time, and I did so many different videos in my vlogs. I know you guys have seen me like setting it up and using it so much, and I that was basically my favorite light ever. I think these guys genuinely respect me and like appreciate everything that I've done using their light and stuff. And then they sent me two of these, two awesome small LED lights. They go on top of your camera, but they are so bright. They even sent me a seven inch monitor. These guys are so freaking amazing. You guys rock, man. Thank you guys over at Aperture. I cannot stress it enough how much I appreciate you guys and like thank you guys so much. I want all you guys to go check out their website. They have amazing products. Their prices are not bad for what quality they're putting out and the amazing power that these lights have. They're awesome for like on set, music videos, anything, YouTube videos, whatever, man. I cannot believe these guys sent me all this stuff. I'm so happy right now. Dude, I'm gonna use this monitor. I can't wait. I'm gonna use this monitor. I'm gonna use this little LED light. I'm gonna shoot a music video with this and show you guys how amazing this is. Oh, two, two 120Ds. I'm so freaking happy right now, man. So much energy today, man. I went to the Stone Mountain and got exercise in and I come back and I got these amazing boxes from Aperture and so much dope stuff. I got all types of stuff going on. I'm so happy right now. I just, I just all over the place. My head's spinning. Like the only crappy part about getting cool stuff in the mail is you got all these boxes in your house. And then you got to take them all out to the freaking trash. I got all these boxes. Ah! This thing is supposed to be pretty freaking awesome, but look how small it is. It fits right in your hand and it's supposed to be really bright. It fits right in your hand. It's pretty awesome. Let's cut it on and see. Ooh. All right, guys, so y'all saw that I got all those cool lights from Aperture today, and I just got this in, too. It was supposed to come in tomorrow, but it came in tonight. It's the T2i, the Canon T2i. This is the first camera that I started out with when I started shooting music videos, when I started taking pictures. It is a very older model Canon T2i, but the thing that I want to prove, the reason that I spent $300 to buy this camera, it doesn't matter what camera you have. You can make dope stuff with whatever camera that is in your possession. I'm going to be taking some photos. I'm going to be showing the settings. Like, it doesn't matter that it's a older camera it, it was only 300 bucks you don't need two three four thousand dollars to go buy cameras and equipment and stuff like that you can spend three hundred dollars and really make something dope this t2i made me a lot of freaking money when i started out i had a t2i for like three years straight a lot of people like joe moore before i really knew joe moore he used to tell me that yo your stuff looks like a 5d how do you shoot with a t2i that's impossible you gotta be shooting with a 5d and i'm like nah man i just mastered my t2i but the whole point is man you're, i'm gonna make some dope stuff for you guys with this you can get dope stuff for 300 bucks you can do a couple jobs shooting with the kit lens save your money up and buy 800 lens it's not that hard i'm about to edit up some photos post them on my ig on my twitter all that good stuff mess with the settings on this and think about what type of video i can do with this so i'll see you guys in the next video